An hour from Alicante on the Costa Blanca. This is not Spain as the Spanish know it. Oriana Costa, as they call it. It's all ex uh, British. If you walk about, you hear a lot of English spoken, do you? Yeah. Yes, yes, you do. Yeah. Much more than Spanish. Oriuela Costa has been likened to a giant retirement village. Rows of near identical houses, home to perhaps one of the biggest concentrations of expat Brits anywhere. And okay. we'll, we'll just like the weather, don't we? It's really nice. And it is February now and it's 20, 20 degrees. I know, yeah. Can't believe it, yeah. <laughs> but dispositions here are not as sunny as they once were. We are here for four months. Four months. We extend the holiday every year. <laughs> Bill wanted to leave the EU, but reality is now kicking in. Bino's pet passport would be voided by a no deal Brexit. If it comes to pass, Bill and his wife Joyce won't be back. So you stop coming for that reason? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah, the dog would be yeah. first priority. He's yeah. our priority. Hundreds of thousands of British expats have settled in Spain, and some believe they're too valuable to the Spanish economy to endure any real harm. But others are fearful. No deal means they may lose the privileges they enjoy as EU citizens overnight. Well, if there's one thing that makes the retirement dream possible for so many expat pensioners, it's their entitlement to free healthcare in Spain, paid for by the UK under EU-wide reciprocal arrangements. But a few days ago, the UK government announced that in a no deal, that would stop. That safety net would be pulled away. And that was the moment that for a lot of people here, Brexit got very real. The Spanish and UK governments say they want to reach an agreement. The health care of over 100,000, mainly pensioners, the majority living in Spain, depends on it. We are heading deep into the Andalusian countryside to meet one of them. Hello. You're a bit cut off here, aren't you? Goodness me. Oh, cut off. Uh, splendid isolation. Dave England is not well, and he is worried. Well, I've got um, Parkinson's, which was diagnosed a couple of years ago. I uh, had a heart attack just before Christmas. I've generalised arthritis. And how much is your medication costing? The medication's probably costing around six, seven hundred euros a month. That. So who will pay for Dave's care in a no-deal Brexit? The UK government is advising pensioners to take out private medical insurance. If it comes to a point where private medical insurance is what's needed. Where does that leave you? I'm in the cold. I've got, I've got no options there. I haven't slept properly in two years. I wake up sweating, I wake up wondering what's going on. I'm terrified. We travel four hours southwest to the Costa del Sol, where campaign groups now spring up faster than apartment blocks. How do you sum up the quality of the information that people here have, that expats have, about what is going to happen to them and their lives? You want that in one word? Zero. <laughs> we have had little to no information to be truthful. We, we feel totally abandoned here. We are over 300,000 Brits living in Spain alone. and We just feel we're, we're out of sight and out of mind. In nearby Manilva, Expats have crowded in for a Brexit briefing with the UK ambassador. What does all this mean for all of you? But the embassy asks us to leave before he takes questions, some of which are laced with fury. What's the overriding sentiment, do you think, among people Well, there's people anxiety, here? there's anger. Do you expect better? From the British government, no. Why is it that you can't give people guarantees at this point about what happens in a no-deal situation to some fundamental things like healthcare, residency? Well, because essentially, in a no-deal scenario, it's for the Spanish government to explain how they would intend to protect the rights of British nationals here in Spain in that scenario. This is weeks away. One man stood up and said the government hasn't got a clue. He was cheered and applauded. Well, he, also, he, also, he was also clearly against Brexit as well. So but what we are doing is trying to work with the Spanish government. We're doing that already. Some people believe ultimately nothing will change. 
So I don't think Spanish will turn English away because they're quite a big thing for their economy. But Dave, who bought his Spanish holiday home after voting to leave, no longer wants to. What's the biggest thing you think you've learned that swayed you? Well, the freedom of movement uh, in Europe, you know, the, for, for the, the proper European... To so you want to keep your own freedom of movement mm. so that you can come back and forth between here and the UK? Yes. I know it might be selfish, but I think on reflection now, we'd probably vote for, a, uh, if we had a referendum, probably on, um, the other way now. Vote to remain there? To remain, I think uh, you might have shot yourself in the foot a little bit. Might have done, yes. Yeah. Very well have done. What precisely no deal will mean, the Spanish government has yet to spell out. And so expats live under a cloud, exactly what so many came here to escape.